Maya and her brothers have found the rest of the pride. There's just one problem. They're on the opposite side of the river. It's September, and it hasn't rained for months. At this time of year, the river drops low enough for lions to occasionally cross back and forth. These guys really want to cross and join the rest of the pride, but they're being going up and down the beach, and, um, and they're just really quite nervous. They seem to be walking away from the river at the moment. The Loangwa River has one of the highest concentrations of crocodiles in the whole of Africa. I think lions have a healthy respect for crocodiles, and um, judging by the size of some of them over there, I think that's, uh, that's good for them to have. Lions might have the upper hand on land, but in water, the tables turn, and it's the crocs that rule. I've seen fully grown male lions pulled under by crocodiles, so crocodiles are really strong. They possess one of the greatest bite forces in the animal kingdom. The jaws that once clamped shut are almost impossible to escape. The teenagers haven't yet learned the safest and shallowest crossing points, but the threat of the nomads and the desire to join their family drives them into the water. These three being slightly young, they haven't quite really got the experience and might be a little bit silly and, and cross when they shouldn't. It's, it's the one time that lions are really vulnerable. Maya is now leading. There's lots of hissing going on. She'll be hissing at the, uh, at the crocodiles. She loses her nerve. Endless crocodiles in this river. More of the MK Pride comes down to the opposite beach, encouraging her to try again. Brothers tentatively follow. As the crocs begin to close in, Maya and the boys pick up the pace. It's a welcome reunion. This is lovely. I mean, they're getting really lots of affection from one of the females that's come down to the, the bank to greet them. There's lots of greeting and bonding going on. There's some more coming down. However, not all these lions are MKs. There's, a, I mean, one other pride that I know of on the other side, known as the uh, Insefu pride. I'm pretty sure it's them. For much of the year, the Loangwa River acts as a boundary, and the east bank belongs to the Insefu pride. But these two prides have met before, in previous dry season wanderings across the river. I think a lot of these lions over the years will cross each other's path, and they're kind of slightly familiar with each other. There certainly seems to be a bit of acceptance. By crossing to the neighboring pride's turf, the MKs aren't just trying to evade the nomads. It seems they've also been drawn by the chance to muscle in on a buffalo killed by the Ensefu. But it's a daring move. I mean, I've, I've seen prides get together and, and feed, but there's an actually big dominant male here. 
This Encephal male won't put up with any competition from other males who could threaten his position as head of the pride. He'll attack if he feels the MKs are a danger. As a young, smaller male, Kimber is especially vulnerable. I think Kimber needs to be really careful. The male is, is kind of puffing himself up and trying to look bigger and more dominant. The teenager recognizes the danger. Kimber is actually being quite submissive. I suppose as long as the young boys don't pose too much of a threat to this big male, um, he seems to be tolerating them. Kimber's more reckless sister, Mayor, is not so cautious. She turns to Kimber for reassurance. She needs to learn his restraint if she's to avoid serious injury. Most of the MKs have come across the river since the nomads attack, but missing are Axel and Mohawk, the pride's males. The punks, they wouldn't be accepted here, and then there would be a big, big fight, I think. So it's just as well they're not around. Axel and Mohawk haven't abandoned their pride, but they've retreated to the far south of their territory on the west bank of the river. The four nomads remain in the north of the MK's territory. The nomads' roars echo down the valley. are throwing down the gauntlet to the aging kings. With cubs and their pride to protect, Axel and Mohawk must respond. They might be old, but there's still some fight left in them. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.